the Smith family sees that it's essential that the government addresses the poor educational outcomes being experienced by disadvantaged children in the upcoming federal budget. Whilst education is obviously the responsibility in a delivery sense of state governments, the Commonwealth has a very important role in supporting improved educational outcomes for disadvantaged children. If they don't, the end result is that they bear the burden when these young people aren't able to find employment and then they become adults on the welfare system. It's not only a good economic sense for all Australians at a time when the population is ageing, we need to be more internationally competitive to improve our educational outcomes, but it's also a social issue. If we have a significant number of children and young people who are not doing well at school, who are falling behind, that becomes the lost generation. From a budget perspective, the most effective way of reducing our long-term welfare dependency in this nation is investing early on in children and making sure that they have the best start when they start school and continue and then achieve year 12 and beyond. What we know in the Australian context is that children from disadvantaged backgrounds actually start behind. We know that one in three disadvantaged children from actually start poorly in terms of their literacy and numeracy on the very first day at school. So unless the Commonwealth and the states and territories take an early intervention approach, we know what the end result will be. An increased entrenched disadvantage, um, an increase in welfare dependency that's not good for the economy, it's not good for those children and young people. Once we have a particular focus, as we think there should be on educational disadvantage for young people, then there are programs, for example, like the Smith Families Learning for Life program, programs which are long-term, which support the child and their families to get very good educational outcomes. We're not going to fix entrenched disadvantage overnight, but we can if we invest in children and their families over the long term. So programs that take account of families, that provide financial support, but also the important educational support that young people need to both attend school well, complete year 12, and then importantly for the economy, go on and interpose school employment education and training. I think it's a whole of government's responsibility, this issue, and including business, the community. So we need to all work together so we've got a systems-wide response. And the CEDA report's been a very important contributor in this, actually raise it to the attention of the public that there are significant numbers of adults and children living in poverty and in entrenched disadvantage. Once we have that public awareness, hopefully we'll have a greater political will to address this. It's no one government's responsibility. Commonwealth, state and territory and community and business need to work together to address it.